This is a setback with consequences as nuanced as the odd circumstances that left Trump and McConnell on the same side of this peculiar race in the first place. Among the big winners is Steve Bannon, the president's former chief strategist, who gambled that he and his allies could help beat back the president's own pick in a state where Trump is deeply popular. Moore's primary victory will invite Democrats to invest in a deep red state in advance of the December general election. But the likeliest final outcome will be the addition of a Republican senator with a famously combative streak that figures to have him frustrating legislative efforts. More in the Senate will leave McConnell with yet another hard to corral member of his caucus, maybe one more difficult to get in line than even Rand Paul or Ted Cruz. And the fear of further far right primary challengers could make McConnell's job even harder, while also convincing more Republicans in the House and Senate to contemplate retirement. On Tuesday, while polls were still open in Alabama, the first GOP senator this cycle announced that he's stepping down at the end of his term. Senator Bob Corker, R10, announced he's leaving the Senate just a day after reports indicated that Bannon had met with a potential primary challenger. Roy Moore defeats Senator Luther Strange in Alabama GOP primary runoff viewed as test of Trump's influence Trump stumps for Strange in Alabama but says he'll campaign for more if he wins those close to Trump expect him to lash out at McConnell over the loss, particularly after Senate Republicans fell short yet again in efforts to repeal and replace Obamacare. The setback could also convince him to go with his gut in other Senate races, including involving in emerging primary races where incumbent Republicans in Arizona and Nevada are facing pro-Trump challengers. Lining up against Trump were Bannon and other anti-establishment figures, including another former White House aide, Sebastian Gorka and Sarah Palin. Trump seemed to second-guess his endorsement on Friday, in a campaign rally that of course got overshadowed by his comments about the NFL. I might have made a mistake. Trump told the crowd at the rally. They're going to say, Donald Trump, the President of the United States, was unable to pull his candidate across the line. It is a terrible, terrible moment for Trump. This is total embarrassment. All that may be said, along with the fact that there is not likely to be another Senate candidate quite as colorful as Moore. Twice he was forced off the state Supreme Court because he defied federal court edicts. He has said homosexual conduct should be illegal and that he believes President Obama was not born in the United States. At his own election eve rally, he whipped out a gun to demonstrate his support for the Second Amendment. Fundamentally, though he praises Trump effusively, he may not be a reliable vote for Trump's agenda. Moore has developed a reputation as an ideologue, whereas the president by nature is a dealmaker. Few expect the president to do anything but declare victory, in a race where both Republicans race to be more pro-Trump. But this victory will carry severe consequences for policy, while pointing to the limits the president himself faces in corralling the forces that propelled him to office.